Salisbury once again. Can he get by? He does. Hello ladies and gentlemen out in YouTube land and welcome back to the channel. My name is Joking Scarecrow with a K, not a C, here with another episode of the Be A Pro Career in NHL 21. Ladies and gentlemen, let's start off with a quick recap of what happened in the previous episode. We ended up playing the Colorado Avalanche at home and we beat them by a score of 5-2. We were injured at the beginning of the third period because of a hit by Eric Johnson. And unfortunately, we were not able to get that first goal, which is still eluding us to this day. That now puts us at a four game winning streak as we have defeated the Carolina Hurricanes, the San Jose Sharks, the Edmonton Oilers, and last but not least, the Colorado Avalanche. Now that is the good news, but unfortunately the bad news is we have to play the Washington Capitals, which means only one thing. We have to play Alexander Ovechkin. That's what we're gonna have to contend with. I mean, really, he is the elite when it comes to players in the NHL as we're just going down the list here on the Capitals roster. And whoa, 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 pump the brakes for one second. Nah, you know what? Slam down on those bad boys. Where in the blue hell is Ovi? Absolutely no way he retired. I would bet Patrick Marlowe's contract on it. Oh. My. Gretzky. Ovechkin is on the Vegas Golden Knights now. Ovechkin closed up shop and left the nation's capital for the nation's brothel. I mean, Vegas is a perfect fit for Ovi. Yeah, you remember the summer of Ovi back in 2018? Keg stand out of the Stanley Cup, swimming in a fountain, dancing to jump around by House of Pain in front of the Bellagio. Now all he needs is a fifth of vodka and an eight ball, and he is fine on cloud nine. So for this game, we're going to have the Washington Capitals wearing their alternate jerseys. And you know what? Those alternate jerseys look a little bit familiar. Okay, yes, I know the last time that I wore the opponent's jerseys on camera, we got spanked, but you know what? It was a fluke, and I bet none of you even remember that video. Of course, you could go back and watch that video versus the Sabres on my channel, but you know. Now let's jump into this game, try to get the win, and finally, finally, get that first goal that we so desperately need. Hi again, everyone, and welcome to the nation's capital in Washington, D.C. at the Capital One Arena for this division rivalry matchup. Strap yourselves in. It is going to be bumpy. In net for the New York Rangers is Michael Hutchinson, who is making his first start of the season. And in net for the Washington Capitals, the veteran Henrik Lundqvist, who is looking for his first win on the season. Our first shift comes... A little bit less than three minutes into the first period as the faceoff was to the right of Lundqvist. And now the Capitals are going to bring it into the neutral zone. Pass over into the slot. That one is knocked away by a stick and Hutchinson swallows it up for a whistle. You know, say what you will about how I only have four assists. But right now I have about the same amount of points as Kuznetsov. That is impressive. I wonder if he's thinking about cookies right now. Or tacos, because I'm definitely thinking about tacos. Salisbury controls the puck. Looks up for Heedle. Heedle has to stop, and now he throws it in on a chip and chase. First one there is Hathaway, but he's pressured from behind by Kreider. He did get the puck up to Haglin, though, to avoid the pressure. And now Haglin looking to deke out his defenseman, and he is knocked off the puck. Oshi over the blue line, loses the puck. Salisbury regains control, got it to Panarin. Panarin back pass goes off a skate and Hunt will grab it. But now quickly the Rangers have possession once again. Panarin with a shot, he scores! Artemi Panarin with a little wrist shot that had like no power on it. But the Rangers are gonna score and go up by one. 
Zabenajad on the half wall steals the puck away and got it across to Panarin, who was right at the hash marks of the faceoff circle. And Lundqvist was not able to extend that pad over to the opposite side of the net. So the New York Rangers draw first blood in this game as Panarin gets his third goal of the season. Zabenajad with the assist. Down in the corner, this puck was coming out to the slot. Backstrom gets control, but takes the shot, and Hutchinson was there to make the save. Salisbury skating away, trying to cut in. No, he'll curl off. Looking for the pass, back up to the defenseman. He got it over. Heedle with a pass over, and where was Salisbury looking on that one? Kreider grabs the puck, got it to Heedle. Shot goes right into the trapper of Lundqvist, and that will result in a faceoff. Tom Wilson leads the team in points for the Capitals. Two goals, four assists for a total of six points. Okay, so Coach Begris is pulling us in here on the bench to look at the dry erase board, and he says, keep up the momentum. Taylor, we're putting the pressure on them. Don't stop now. My team response could be, I can do that, Coach. I'll keep putting the pressure on them. The promise explanation would be continued pressure. Or the star response, a goal is really going to put the pressure on them. I'll get us a goal. Seeing though I have no confidence whatsoever in myself, we're just going to go with the team response to try to continue to keep the pressure on the Capitals. Face off here to the right of the Capitals net. Tie up. Everybody coming in for that. It's a rugby scrum. Ultimately, the puck came to the defense. That was D'Angelo. Now Backstrom has checked off the puck. Salisbury recovers. Got it to Truba. Now to Heedle, Salisbury coming in, looking for the pass, it's over, and Kreider hits the post on the one-timer. That was super close, we almost got another assist, that would have been great. Orlov now has the puck and he got it to Kuznetsov, he's being forced to go backwards and now he passes it to Orlov. Orlov around the net, swoops, got it to Verana and now it's across to Oshi. Oshi got as far as the blue line and then it's taken away by Heedle. Just about three minutes left here in the first period. The Rangers still up by a score of one to nothing as Kreider now looking to get away from his check. Taken away by Haglin, and now he comes up with the puck once more. Salisbury now getting by his man. He'll stop, takes the shot, fires right into the shoulder of Lundqvist, and he plays the puck. Very strange, but he got it to Jensen. Haglin now looking for a chance here as he got it to Hathaway. No dice on the shot, it was trickling towards Hutchinson, but that's as far as it got. Haglin now, he's gonna get tripped up by D'Angelo, and this is gonna result in a late period power play for Washington. What terrible luck to take a penalty right near the end of the period. That's always a killer. 20 minutes of play down here at the Capital One Center in Washington, D.C. with the Rangers still up clinging by that one goal even though the washington capitals are down by one goal the crowd is still pumped up for this one and why shouldn't you be this is a great contest here you've got great stars on both sides and great goaltending too so far boy it is about time we are finally back on the ice this is our first shift of the second period and it's almost halfway through Kreider. Dipsy Doodles and Deeks got the pass to Heedle past the defenseman, but Lundqvist was right there on the post and made sure that there was not going to be a rebound. Wilson looking to get away, but instead he dumps this one in. The Rangers are the first to it. Ooh, a little bit of miscommunication on the pass. That goes all the way down the ice. Lundqvist comes out for it. He got it to Kempney, and now it's, it's advanced to Eller. Eller trying to cut in. He does, takes the shot. That was kick saved by Hutchinson. And now the danger is averted. Salisbury gets the pass from Heedle as he comes up into the middle. Salisbury takes the wrist shot. That goes off the blocker. And Lundqvist is able to snatch it out of midair. I feel like Lundqvist is going to play his heart out. And he's going to become that brick wall that he used to be for the Rangers. Kreider now has some space and some room. Got it over across to Heedle. And now Kreider takes a one-timer. The slap shot just grazes Lundqvist's arm. Puck goes down on the half wall. Kreider has a chance to come out in front of the net. Heedle takes the shot that goes off a leg. Haglin now has the puck as he tries to skate away and does successfully. Looking for the dump though. That was unsuccessful as it went off D'Angelo's stick. Haglin grabs the puck after ha uh, Kreider gets checked in the neutral zone. Ooh, 
and then Salisbury gets dumped by cop. Boy, howdy, that was a bruiser. We are really rolling along here. The second period has officially come to a close and the Rangers still hanging on to the one nothing lead. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This is kind of a boring game. I apologize. First shift of the third period as Kreider has this puck. As he's got Carlson watching him like a hawk. He dumps this down into the corner. Orlov loses it in front of the net, but Salisbury could not capitalize on a golden opportunity in front of the net. Truba with a pass to Kreider. Heedle to Salisbury cutting across. Salisbury now has Orlov looking for the poke check. Right in front of the net. That one is knocked away in the passing lane by Carlson. Orlov being pinned on the board. Salisbury and Kreider both coming in. Kreider now cuts towards the net, takes the backhander. That goes off a pad. He passes it to Salisbury. Salisbury hit by Orlov. Ooh, and then a crushing hit by Truba on Orlov. These guys are dropping the hammer tonight. Hashtag cold trickle. Wilson gets over the blue line. Loses control of the puck as he's hit on the half wall. Salisbury gets that up to believe that's Fox. Kreider now to Salisbury. He looks over the pass. They score! What a tic-tac-toe play! Heedle capitalizes, and the Rangers are now up two to nothing. So Hedl the Beatle strikes and we get an assist along with Kreider who is still just white hot right now. That puts us up by two goals and to be honest we still have a chance to get an empty netter as long as Beegers decides to put us on the ice for the last minute of play. Four minutes and 30 seconds here. Still two to nothing for the Rangers. The Capitals really have to get something going here. Just even a quick goal, a garbage goal, to get back in this and be down by one would be great as Haglin now tries to bring this up to the blue line and then he dumps it into the corner trying to get a breakout going. Here's Salisbury. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that? Why? I didn't even hit the pass button. What the hell was that? So I thought if we did a quick shift, we'd be able to come out with like a minute left. Unfortunately, there's still two minutes left in this game. Why don't they let us out? We are the main line, scoring line. Why can't we be out for the empty netter? It's bogus. Let's just try our luck here as we try to get by Carlson. Poke checked away, and now it's Kuznetsov. He's at the top of the circle. He's a one-timer, a rebound, but that's knocked away. Truba gets that up to Zabenajad, who is being hit by Orlov. And now Orlov brings it down below the net. Carlson now gets it to Kuznetsov. We have one minute remaining, and oh my, Gretzky! Lundqvist has been pulled, here's the chance. Truba to Salisbury. Salisbury with speed, the extra attacker's on. He takes the wrist nope. shot, he misses the net! No, please do not do this to me. Please do not do this to me, I'm begging you, EA. Pass to Salisbury, Salisbury gets poke checked. Eller gets it over to Orlov, 40 seconds remaining. Salisbury's been on the ice for a minute. Eller takes the shot. That one is in a few bodies. Wilson takes the shot, goes off the pad. He still has control of it as he gets up to the defenseman. Orlov across for Jensen. That one goes into Hutchinson's glove and Hutchinson plays it. What a desperation save off the shot. Salisbury once again, can he get by? He does, he takes the shot. Oh, that went off the skate. Fuck you, EA. 13 seconds, give me the pass. Shoot, score, mother of Gretzky. Yes! Finally! How much more do I have to do? Our first goal of the season. Give the puck to the athletic trainer. Thank you, Panarin. That one's going on the shelf. Woo!
Coach Begris bringing us over to the bench. Challenge results. If I blinked, I would have missed that one, Taylor. That was a nice snapshot. Thanks, Coach. Doing whatever I can to gain some momentum. Our rating impact. Management likability has gone up by 50. Teammate goes up by 25. And the primary line score goes up by 50. That is what we needed. And it, you know what? It's pretty funny because, you know, you go back and look at the replay. And I almost hit the post and had it bounce out. Knowing my luck that would have happened, I'm surprised it didn't, especially with everything else that happened in that sequence. Hey, who knows? Maybe Begris doesn't want to try to fight me anymore. Ten seconds left. We are still going to be on the ice. We've had a minute shift. We're probably dog tired. Five seconds. Salisbury over to Heedle. They're going to try one more time as Kreider takes the shot that bounced up in the air off of the blocker of Lundquist. The horn sounds, and the Rangers are going to continue their winning streak Five games now, the final score, three to nothing. Hey, and Michael Hutchinson comes in for his first start of the season, and he ends up getting a shutout. Now it's time for the three stars of the game. The third star is Antiemi Panarin, who had a goal and an assist in the game. The second star, speak of the devil, is Taylor Salisbury. One goal, one assist as we look at the highlight there. Oh my god, it feels so good to finally do that. And the first star of the game, no surprise, 26 saves, a perfect game, beautiful desperation save at the end of the third period, Michael Hutchinson for the Rangers. Oh, I am so spent. Answer me this, legitimately. You took this kid in your fantasy team, didn't you? I did, yeah. I'm a little biased. <laughs> You're totally, Are we all? It sounds so emotionally invested already. I'm amazed I know, at this. I am. Yeah. Well, I would hope that you took me in your fantasy hockey team. I mean, look, seven games played, one goal, five of six, six points. We are probably the top one or two position in rookie of the year. So post game, we simulated a little bit and now coach Begris has us in the locker room and he says, Salisbury, we've been hot lately. We need to keep this momentum going. The team response would be the way we've been playing lately. I can't see a lot of teams beating us or we can go with the neutral response, which is I'm not spending any time worrying about the streak. My main concern is playing well. If we can do that, we'll win. And then, of course, the hot shot star response. As long as I stay hot, we have a chance to win. I'm not a dick. I'm not like that. I'm just going to stick with the team response the way we've been playing lately. I can't see a lot of teams beating us. Besides Buffalo, there really hasn't re been a team to beat us. So our next game is against the Calgary Flames, who currently sit at three and four on the season. And again, oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. We are now in first place in the NHL with a six and one record. You see, this is what we call in the industry, firing on all cylinders. Now that I finally scored my first goal, I can actually play offline when I want to. We don't have to worry about finally getting that first goal on camera. But I, I don't know, maybe uh, I'll wait on the Calgary game because, uh, well, somebody would appreciate it if I played it. So, with all that out of the way, let's wrap this sucker up and put a bow on it. We need to get a hold of Matt Barzel and ask him what he put in his Wheaties to make him think that he could successfully score a through the legs shot like he did on the Sabres this weekend. And you know what? Maybe I'll give a call to Tom Wilson since he's got a couple days off and ask him if he can float me some of that suspension money for a loan. And finally, I need to go get some of that sweet, delicious G Fuel that I love because to be honest, my throat from screaming so much is super hoarse. And I know I'm going to feel it in the morning. But I hope you enjoyed the drama that came at the very end of this video. I know I did. It's finally happened. And now it's just bigger and better things going forward. But for now, I am signing off. I'm going to go eat a sandwich because I am super hungry right now. Once again, this is Joking Scarecrow with a K, not a C. And I will see you next time.